If I wanted to kill you, do you think I'd let a wooden door stop me? I'm not afraid of you, little brother. You should be. I'm telling you right now, you should be. Welcome to Let's Watch TV. Thank you for clicking on the video. All right, man. So we up to season three of Game of Thrones. And according to my comment section, this is when the show starts to really get good. Not saying the first two seasons haven't been good, but apparently I'm in for some surprising things over these next couple of seasons. But I got to be honest with y'all. Nothing is really going to surprise me because of what happened with Ned Stark in season one. Once you do something like that, you're capable of anything. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll be disappointed if certain things happen, like my man Terry and Diane, or if they do some real crazy shit and kill Arya off. I mean, my goodness, what kind of cruel monsters are we dealing with if that happens? But whatever happens, I won't be shocked by it. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, they just go jump right into the show. We don't even get the uh, the opening credits. They couldn't wait to get to it. Okay, Sam. Damn. Yo, Sam moving, ain't he? White Walkers get behind your ass and hmm. Make a move, Sam. Make a move. Tell me that was ghosts. Did you send the ravens? Charlie, look at me. Did you send the rain? What happened? That was your job. Your only job. Well, actually, what happened? We need to get back to the wall. It's a long march. We know it's out there. But we have to make it. Have to warn them. Or before winter's done, everyone you've ever known will be dead. Yeah, it's on. It is on. Season three. That is one hell of a way to start the season off. Hold up. These motherfuckers, they got actual giants. First time you've seen a giant, Jon Snow. Yeah. I don't stay too long, they're shy. No. Stop being shy, they get angry. And when they're angry, I've seen them pound a man straight into the ground like a hammer on a nail. In oh your damn! Heart, all you crows want to fly free. When I'm free, y'all better get your kids. Sure you will. Oh. <laughs> and I'll be free to kill you. Don't look so grim, Jon Snow. Man's ready likes you. You'll live another day. And if you don't, the wildlings is looking like a straight-up civilization. Doesn't seem like there should be conflict. Baby killed Coronathan. He wants to be one of us. That half hearted cunt killed the friends of mine. Friends twice your size. My father told me big men fall just as quick as little ones. If you put a sword through their hearts. Plenty of little men try to put their swords through my heart. And there's plenty of little skeletons. 
buried in the woods. What's your name, boy? Hey? John Snow. Your grace. <laughs> I don't think Grace? it's that type of kingdom. <laughs> you hear that? From now on, you'd better kneel every time I fart. <laughs> Stand, boy. So, you're Ned Stark's bastard. Thank you for the gift, Lord of Bones. You can leave us. The girl likes you. You like her back, Snow? Mm hmm Don't panic, boy. This isn't the damned Night's Watch where we make you swear off girls. This chicken eater you thought was king is torment giant's bane. Can't believe this. Pop killed our fan. He was our enemy. And I'm glad he's dead. What were you doing with him? The Lord Commander sent me to the half hand for seasoning. Why? He wants me to lead one day. But here you are. A traitor. If I'm a traitor, then you are too. Oh. He coming in here talking big. But facts though. Why do you want to join us, Jon Snow? We stopped at Craster's keep on the way north. I saw Craster take his own baby boy and leave it in the woods. I saw what took it. You're telling me you saw one of them. And why would that make you know about brothers? that? Because when I told the Lord Commander, he already knew. Thousands of years ago, the first men battled the White Walkers and defeated them. I want to fight for the side that fights for the living. Ew. Tyrion, man. Tyrion. Pod. It's time for a comeback, baby. It's your sister. The queen. She got the nerve to show up and try to talk to me. Oh, I can't wait for this conversation. What are they doing here? Protecting me, I assume? Will you let me in? Hell no. No, I don't think so. If I wanted to kill you, do you think I'd let a wooden door stop me? I mean, it ain't like you didn't try. They stay outside. I'm not afraid of you, little brother. You should be. I'm telling you right now, you should be. Yeah. Yeah. Just take her ankle off as soon as she walked through the door. Hmm. Be better than me. Why are you here? I wanted to see your face. They said you'd lost your nose. Oh, you got jokes? Not as gruesome as all that. The rebels came for Joffrey's head. They lost their own. Thanks to father. Thanks to father. Of course, it wasn't a rebel who tried to kill me. No? Curious. Bit of a calm you know, down from Chamber of the Hand. <laughs> then I don't suppose you need much room. Grand Maester Pycelle made the same joke. You must <laughs> be proud to be as funny as same a man who stole joke. Brush's knees. You're meeting father today. What do you want from him? What do I want from him? He's my father. Do I need to want something? I'm sure he loves me dearly. As any father loves his child, his baby boy. Yet he hasn't come to visit once since arriving in King's Landing. I lay here, my face split in half. Yeah. But father never came. Why do you care what I want from him? Because you slandered me to father before. It's not slander if it's true. And what's this truth you plan on telling him Seriously. Today? Why are you so nervous about what I'm going oh. to say to father? Because you're a liar. Any lies Does Tywin not know about the whole incest thing? You're a clever man. But you're not half as clever as you think you are. Mm. Still makes me more clever than you. Dale. <laughs> Sir Bron of the Blackwater. You're no knight. Now, I have an appointment with Lord Tyrion. You put your hand on that door. You lose 
lose the hand. Ah, shit. Y'all better stop playing with my man Braun. He got that back knife ready to go at all I times. I'm why you sent for me. A number of people in this city want to kill me. You're here to protect me. I grow poor protecting <laughs> you. Poor. Poor. Under my patronage, you've become a knight. You've served as commander of the city watch. Briefly. I'm sure you filled your It was briefly. Pockets. And now my pockets are empty. And if you want me to carry on protecting you, you'll need to pay more. Come on, bro. Don't be like that. We are. But I'm a sell sword. I sell my sword. Oh, Sir Davos. Damn, I kind of forgot all about him. Is he just waking up from the war? Damn. Wildfire lit your ass up, didn't it? Oh, he been deserted on this little uh rock or whatever the hell that is. I was in the bottle at Blackwater. I was a captain and a knight. I sir. And serving which king? Ah, oh, shit. The one true king of Westeros. Eh. Hey. Stannis Baratheon. Man, that was risky. Dead. Everyone thought you were dead. And your son? Yeah. He may have swam ashore as you did. No, the wildfire took him my sword. I'm so sorry, my friend. Stannis lives. He licks his wounds at Dragonstone. Will you take me there? There is nothing for me at Dragonstone. This war is not over. Not for you, maybe. But for Salador's son, the war is over. We are both sworn to King Stan. I am sworn to no man. Hey. I promised you 30 ships, and you promised me riches and glory. I delivered the ships. But Stannis never gives up. Never. Now he will regroup. He's a broken man. His fleet lies at the bottom of Blackwater Bay. They say he sees no one. Not his generals, not even his wife. Only the Red Woman. Whispering in his ear, telling him what she sees in the flames. And burning men alive. I'm thinking Dragonstone is a good place for us to avoid. Please, do this for me. When you're dead, I'll gather your bones in a little sack. And let your widow wear them round her neck. What? what? Why? Come on, Tywin. You got to give my man Tyrion some credit. Almost as good as it looked on me. Are you enjoying your new position? Am I enjoying it? I was very happy as Hand of the King. <laughs> yes. I heard how happy you were. You brought a whore into my bed. It wasn't your bed at the time. I was about to say, what do you mean, your bed? What do you want, Tyrion? Why does everyone assume I want something? I organized the defense of this city while you held court in the ruins of Harrenhal. I led the foray when the enemies were at the gate while your grandson, the king, quivered in fear behind the walls. Damn sure did. I bled in the mud for our family. And as my reward, I was trundled off to some dark little cell. What kind of shit what is that? Want? A little bloody gratitude would be a start. Do you think I demanded a garland of roses every time I suffered a wound on the battlefield? Hmm? 
I'm saying, though. Now, I have seven kingdoms to look after, and three of them are in open rebellion. So, tell me what you want. I want what is mine, by right. Jamie is your eldest son, heir to your lands and titles, but he is a king's god, forbidden from marriage or inheritance. The day Jamie put on the white cloak, he gave up his claim to Casterly Rock. I am your son and lawful heir. You want Casterly Rock? It is mine, by right. We'll find you accommodations more suited to your name. And when the time is right, you will be given a position fit for your talents, so that you can serve your family and protect our legacy. And I would let myself be consumed by maggots before mocking the family name and making you heir to Casterly Rock. Eh. Mm. Why? Why? You ask that? You yeah. who killed your mother to come into the world? Wow. You are an ill-made, spiteful little creature, full of envy, lust, and low cunning. Men's laws give you the right to bear my name and display my colors, since I cannot prove that you are not mine. <laughs> Go now. Speak no more of your rights to Casterly Rock. Go. Now one more thing. The next whore I cut in your bed, I'll hang. I, I don't know if I've ever been more angry in this Dawn. show. It's going to Man, forget Tywin. And I want to use the silk. other F word, but you two be tripping on how many times I can say exchange. it. You know what? Fuck Tywin. The captain's tired of risking his life so King's Landing oh, okay. Shay's still here? Can get drunk I thought Tywin might have got to her. Deserve. Might I speak with Lady Sansa alone for a moment? Mm. I don't know. I'm waiting for word on an assignment that will take me far away from the capital. When I set sail, I might be able to take you with me. But you'll need to be ready to leave on a moment's notice. You're her handmaiden. Yes. And you're his... I help manage his affairs. Taho. He's an important person. So is she. I grew up in the shadow of her father's castle. The day she was born, they rang the bells from sunrise till sunset. Glad I didn't live there. It's not easy for girls like us to dig our way out. Shay looks incredibly annoyed by her. her. I always do. Watch out for her with him. Just go ahead and kill Lord Baelish's ass right now. I mean, what good does he do for anyone? Give her her throne, so nobody say shit. Look at this shit. Did he just swoop in there and grab a whole fish? Wow. I need an army. We'll be an Astapor by nightfall. Some say the Unsullied are the greatest soldiers in the world. The greatest slave soldiers in the world. Distinction means a good deal to some people. Do those people have any better ideas about how to put you on the Iron Throne? She ain't gotta do nothing. You're she right. don't need an army. All she gotta do is go chill somewhere for like two years and Another take over the throne then. The don't mock them. 
They're the first Sothraki who've ever been on a ship. They followed me across the poison water. If they'll do it, others will, and with a true Kalisa. The Dothraki followed strength above all, Khaleesi. What do you think dragons are? Kalisa when you prove yourself strong. And not before. I'm following the woman with the dragons, for she burned my ass alive. That's just me. Damn, I'm feeling so bad for Sir Dabbles right now. He looking like a straight up bum. Heard you were dead. Not yet. I had hoped to speak to you alone, Your Grace. Yeah. You are alone. What about this standing in front of you? I'm not your enemy. You are my enemy. I wasn't there when the wildfire killed our men by the thousands. I could have saved those men. You would have taken the city, Stennis would now sit upon his rightful throne, and you would stand beside him. But I wasn't there, because you convinced your king to leave me behind. All those burning men in the water, crying for their mothers, for their gods, for help. Until the moment the black water swallowed them. In, whoa, whoa. Don't it is off me now. What I told your son is true. Oh. Death by fire is the purest death. I was about to be what, what, Why hasn't what he stabbed her yet? She's a mother of demons. Take him to the dungeon, lock him in a cell. Your grace! Come on! You've chosen the darkness, Sir Devil. You will destroy us all! I will pray for you. Your grace! The Scarlet Witch, man, I don't even know what to say. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. Damn, I forgot all about the king. Somehow he's not my most hated character right now. It's weird. Oh shit, you look stopped? a little nervous. It's Lady Marjorie, your grace. Stop, my lady. You'll ruin your dress. I have others. What kind of crazy shit she gonna be doing this season? Because I've had a feeling about her since the first time I saw her. He was a soldier. Wait a minute, am I wrong about her? Because she's talking to these to kids all happy. nice. Is she a good person? All of you. Yeah, she got me a little confused. <laughs> Come to me for whatever you need to feed them, clothe them, or house them. Directly to me. <laughs> hmm. You know what? I'm thinking... She not go take that shit from the king, like Sansa would have. Sit, sit, sit. Mm. I, do so I might be on her side, what actually. become treason to waste the king's time. That's a lovely gown, my lady. Yes, it suits you perfectly. I imagine you might be rather cold. The climate is a bit more forgiving back in Highgarden, your grace. Shall I have them bring you ashore, my lady? Look at Cersei Hayden. I'm touched by your concern, your grace. Luckily for us, Tyrells, our blood runs. Quite warm, doesn't it, Loris? Yes. Loris, isn't the Queen's gown magnificent? The fabric, the embroidery, the metalwork, I've never seen anything like it. You might find a bit of armor quite useful once you become Queen, perhaps before. Joffrey tells me you stopped your carriage at Flea Bottom on your way back from the Sept this morning. Yes. I paid a visit to an orphanage the High Septon told me about. The lowest among us are no different from the highest if you give them a chance and approach them with an open heart. An open heart is what you'll get in Flea Bottom if you're not careful, my dear. Not long ago, we were attacked by a mob there. The king barely escaped with his life. My mother's always had a penchant for drama. Facts become less and less important to her as she grows older. Our lives mm. were never truly in danger. You're right, of course. I seem to recall you, you running like a bitch that day. We 
found who have a king's bravery. Hey. Hunger turns men into beasts. I'm glad House Tyrell has been able to help in this regard. They tell me a hundred wagons arrive daily now from the Reach. Wheat, barley, apples. We've had a blessed harvest. Well, as Solora said, Lady Marjorie has done this sort of uh, charitable work before. I'm sure she knows what Feeding she's your people is charitable? I'm sure she does. The queen better make up her damn mind because you pushed for this and now you can't stand her ass. <laughs> the unsullied have stood here for a day and a night with no food or water. They may it. suit my needs. Tell me of their training. <laughs> They begin their training at five. Every day they drill from dawn to dusk until they have mastered the short sword, the shield, and the three spears. Only one boy in four survives this rigorous training. Their discipline and loyalty are absolute. They fear nothing. Even the bravest men fear death. Jezanti i vetra shivali na vingi sisi zohili svi murcho. I vetra ze vebi tu zize zorkos. What kind of your mama smell like? Oh, you know what? Okay. Wow. Shield. An unsullied must go to the slave marts with a silver mark. Find a newborn and kill it before its mother's eyes. No, I don't want this art. Master says we make certain there is no weakness left in them. You take a babe from its mother's arms, kill it as she watches and pay for her pain with a silver coin. Las Angoda. Hell yes, she should be a big girl. My master would like you to know that the silver is paid to the baby's owner, not the mother. How many do you have to sell? Pina scoverdi dovo chedi lis raraski. Eight thousand. Ive tragili vetorosi kiza eva vaneko. Master Krasnis asks that you please hurry. Many other buyers are interested. I can't tell if she's interested. Dead baby. Sullied are a means to an end. Once I own them, these men. They're not men. Not anymore. Once I own an army of slaves, what will I be? Do you think these slaves will have better lives serving Krasnus and men like him or serving you? You won't order them to murder babies. You'll see they're properly fed, sheltered. Um, y'all watching the man in the black hood creeping up on you? Will not undo it. <laughs> and that shit might be a buck. <laughs> What the fuck? Get up! Oh, they pulled the old switch of room. No, no, what, what, what? No, where the hell she go? I was just about to say, they must be related to the House of the Undying people. I owe you my life, sir. You know this man? I know him. That's one of the greatest fighters the Seven Kingdoms has ever seen. I've been searching for you, Daenerys Stormborn. Yeah, okay. I didn't even realize that was him. 
Boy, he stormed out of the hand. castle, offended as hell in season one. I am Barristan Selby, King's Guard to your father. Allow me to join your Queen's Guard, and I will not fail you again. Okay. All right, Danny Team getting a little stronger. All right, so there's a couple of things in that episode that got me looking forward to this season. I'm very curious to see how the relationship between the King, Cersei, and Marjorie is going to go because Marjorie doesn't seem like the type to just close her mouth like Sansa was doing. And I ain't forget, I'm going to forgive the show even if they never give me an explanation for how Sam survived that White Walker army at the end of season two. You trying to tell me they just walk right past his ass and left him there for whatever reason? Do the White Walkers not attack anything that's alive automatically or do they have like actual reasons and motives behind what they're doing? I guess I'll find that out later on in the season. Listen, this show better stop playing my man Tyrion like that. What Tywin said to that man in this episode, I mean, I was slightly a fan of Tywin just because of certain ways he handles himself and conducts himself. But that right there, that's it. That's it for Tywin. Can't wait for somebody to kill him. And you know what? I hope it's Tyrion that does it. But anyways, that was a great episode to start the season off with. Hope y'all come back and check me out for episode two, man. Peace.